started. Just doing my first round. Got my brother taking off in the semi. We had last been out here Thursday, and then when the elevator closed for the night, we filled up a couple wagons and ran till eight, nine o'clock at night and shut down. And then it started raining Thursday night, Friday. Friday we had half an inch of rain, so we weren't doing anything out in the field. The elevator wasn't gonna be open in the morning. So we had semi still sitting on for Thursday, yeah, so he's taking that into town. I got the cart, two wagons out here full. I think he's got a flat tire in the semi though, so we can probably put a little air in it just to get him to town, then he'll head home and fix that. So I might be sitting waiting for a while. We got 60 acres left here, just about up to the farm place. And we're just about full already. I can make it about three quarters of a mile. And then I gotta just pull out and head back to the truck with a grain cart and unload. Like that, we're full. Head back to the cart and dump. I'd say that's a full load. Perfectly legal at, you know, 80,000 pounds. This spring, this whole little spot here was a little too wet to plant. It didn't even get cultivated this spring. So I had to come back here about a week later and replant it. And somebody checked two or three boxes when they came before they left to see if they had enough seed. Well, they didn't quite check all the boxes. So I made it the first pass and I ran out of seed in a couple of the boxes already. Not naming names, but you can probably figure out who it was. I'll own up to it. At least you couldn't see it driving down the road though. to the north but the sun's starting to come out to the west I'm losing track of how many loads I think this is six now we're down to uh, all 35 some acres left he just shut down to wait for me to fill it there's another full one heading to town and here comes the semi back again I think you should be able to get one more load in. It's about 10 after 4 right now, and I think he left about 30 minutes ago, so he's doing just about two loads an hour. So he's hauling, we'll say, 2,000 bushels a town an hour. I'm combining like 2,800, but with no grain cart here, I'm probably more at about 2,000 an hour. So we're pretty much staying even. So they'll get one more load into town. I think we'll have, we got one bin that might take two more loads to fill. So once he can't go to town anymore, he's probably gonna quit and start doing chores. And then I'll keep combining and fill up that bin tonight. Getting closer here. I 
and you can see from my shadow the sun's out again. It's about 4 30 now. My brother should be in town just about on his way home already. Maybe, fingers crossed, we get one more load into town. But by the time we get the semi full tonight in the cart and two wagons, we should be close to that 20 acres left. But we should easily be able to get it done by 2 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon when it's going to start raining. But it's some real good corn over here. And my auxiliary tank is still running over from when I put it to use an hour ago. See about as much as I can see. Somebody's got to get out and clean their windows. Kind of strange, but a lot of the tops of the corn stalks here and stuff have been bent over. And it's kind of all like that from here on over. And the most common occurrence is it's within 300 feet of the windmill. I know if that defect affects the turbulence, that it's cracking over a lot more. But here there's barely anything. Probably the last one going to the elevator he's got. 10, 12 minutes to make it in, but we're only four or five miles from town. Got the grain cart full, the semi full. I'll just clean up these short rows here. Should get enough on the combine that once I take the semi home to unload it, I can come right back out. I got enough on the grain cart and the combine to get the semi full to head back home. Should be enough to get the bin filled tonight. And then I'll refill everything up again for tomorrow. That way I can get a couple loads in right away. But it's just me. Maybe get the, my grandpa to finally run the combine. I'm sure he would enjoy that. And we should get this done tomorrow. I got all the inroads done by the groove, so I just got all seven, eight hundred feet worth of rows left. Out here playing chicken with the windmill. I'm doing something. I'm loading a semi into an auger. All the fuel loads to town with this, but never had to load into an auger before. A little tricky getting it set up the first time, but not too bad. That's what I was saying earlier about that corn right around the windmill. Windmill's right there, but a lot of this is got the tops cracked off or laying over. Kind of strange. Oh, I got a lot of pointed rows. My cap corn from the last time is still falling off. Oh, you gotta make sure you don't have your auger swung out. That's one quick way to wreck an auger. Getting down to the end here. This will be my last pass for tonight. And I can tell I'm getting closer to the grove because I'm getting a lot of this shorter corn here. Probably can't quite pick it up yet, but... There's as far as I made it on the south side of the field. I think I got... All bakers left. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. Pick her up tomorrow and get it done. A little cold this morning.
getting after it. It's raining a little bit though. Got my grandpa out in the combine. He always used to run it, but then when we bought this combine, it was a little too much for him. So it's the last day, we're almost done. So I got him to run it for me. Now I'm super trucking. Well, it looks like Grandpa made his first pass. Getting quite full already. Better hammer down to town. Yeah. 